Gotta get my fans on me. They big enough. I'm going in on the cell. I'm thinking about trail. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Charles K. Coming back to you guys with another video. And as you guys can see from the title of today's video, I'm back on Elden Ring showing you guys yet another unlimited room glitch after all the most recent patches and updates. Also, before today's video does get started, make sure that you guys are going into the pinned comment down below, following all those steps to enter our Elden Ring DLC giveaway. All you guys have to do is follow all those steps and you will be automatically entered for a chance to win. Now, for my people who just want to skip this room glitch and get rooms instantly, like with a snap of a finger, here's a message from today's video sponsor. Today's video is going to be sponsored by MMOXP, the best place to buy affordable rooms and items on Elden Ring. This site is going to give you an abundance of items to choose from on all three platforms that mean PC, PlayStation, and even uh, Xbox. And when you guys are checking out on the site, make sure that you guys are using code C2K for a 5% discount. And to get to MMOXP instantly, just check the link in the description down below. Thank you to MMOXP and let's get back to the video. All right, now that all of that has been said and is out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So today's video is going to start at the site of grace, the Dynasty Monas and Liam, everybody's favorite site of grace. Uh, hold on, let me turn my hood on for you guys so you can so you can everything properly okay now what you guys want to do uh basically once you do load in from this side of grace is simply follow where i'm going you're going to drop down from this little tree just like so and at this point once you do drop down you will be able to summon torrent and you're just going to follow where i'm going in the video right now uh basically you just stick to the sides uh so once the skeleton does come up he's not able to hit you at all uh you're basically going to take this path right past this little red guy with his stick and then you're just going to run behind here for a minute and let the um the skeleton do his thing okay his attacks won't be able to get you over here all right now at this point what you guys want to do is come to cliff right here like you guys see me doing in the video right now and you're going to make a series of jump the first jump is going to be onto this white um little tree stuff uh just like so all right, now once you guys are here, you're gonna make another series of jumps. You know, I'm gonna put it in slow motion so you guys can see where you're gonna be going. But if you have done the jumps correctly, they will look like this. All right, now at this point, once you guys have made it up here to the far side, all you're going to do is make your way to the back side of this, like you guys see me doing right now. Basically, where all this blood is at, and this basically is the back side of this map, okay? So, this was actually closed off too, as well. Um, sort of like the one I showed you guys over next to the big birds. This is another side, the back side of this map that was closed off as well. This is how you guys can get back here after all the patches. Now, once you guys are here, it's very, it's very fairly um, easy and simple what you're going to be doing. Go into your inventory, use your gold foul pickle foot, and you guys know for good measures. And uh, you know, anytime we're doing any room glitch on the game, we're going to be using the silver foul pickle foot as well because it really does not get the love that it does deserve. Now, at this point, in your primary hand, you guys are going to want to be holding a melee weapon that you can swing. So make sure that it is in your right hand slot. And all you guys basically are going to do is run and jump off this cliff and do a double jump and begin melee in the air until you guys are falling endlessly. And if done correctly, it will look exactly like this. All right, now as you guys can see, for some reason, it did not give me my second jump, which is completely fine. The whole point of this is just, you know, getting out far enough uh, so you guys can begin melee in the air. So if you do get the double jump, that's fine. If you don't, that's cool as well. But at this point, once you guys are falling and uh, melee in the air, that's completely what you guys want. And all you guys want to do is wait between 30 to 40 seconds until you have been sparked with runes. And that's just what I'm about to do. And I'll be right back to you guys the next step in this glitch. All right, now once you have been sparked with those runes, all you're simply going to do is teleport right back to the side of grace we did start with in today's video which is the Dynasty Monosoleum side of grace. And once you guys do spawn in, as you can see for that room glitch, you will be given 348,000 runes every single time that you guys do do that. And that's exactly what I'm gonna put in the title. You know, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it like I told you guys in the last video. I'm gonna be completely transparent with you guys and what you get. Now, a lot of people is asking me, how do I get, you know, this amount of runes and stuff like that? I am in New Game Plus. So make sure that you are doing these room glitches in New Game Plus so you can get the most amount of runes out of them when you guys are doing them. But um, 
make sure that you guys are doing this glitch and make sure that you guys are visiting MMO XP if you don't feel like doing the glitch to get your player ready for June 21st once the DLC does come out. But that's going to be the end of today's video, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to drop a like on today's video and don't forget to turn on those post notifications. It's me, your boy Charles DK. I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.